Hello, I'm Phaedra Parks from The Real Housewives of Atlanta, and you're watching Us Magazine. Oh gosh, uh, Kim is expecting a new bundle of joy, and she doesn't need any advice from me because this is her third uh, baby, so I'm sure she could give me some advice, but this is my first child, and so I'm just happy for her and excited for her you know, new miracle, and you know, I just told her I'm supportive. If she needs me to help her with her baby shower, I will definitely do that with pleasure. I don't know if Kim is all about the crystals on the eyes, you know, but Kim's a fashion diva, so I'm sure she'll be a very stylish pregnant woman. <laughs> I had the pleasure of meeting Croy and sitting with him for dinner, and he seems like a very nice young man. And so Kim appears to be very happy, and love is a beautiful thing, and you know, commitment's a beautiful thing, so I'm happy for them. and. And if they're happy, I'm supportive and I'm happy for them. I, I hadn't heard that Kim was writing an advice book, but I'm sure Kim, she's a well-rounded young lady, so I'm sure she could give plenty of advice on relationships. And I'm sure she could give plenty of advice on, you know, um, making money, because she seems to know how to make money. And I mean, that's one thing I admire about Kim. She's a businesswoman. Well, at the end of the day, we're all very different women from very different backgrounds and, and we're it's a hodgepodge of personalities and anytime you have that type of mix it's going to be explosive it's like you know throwing you know cayenne pepper into the gumbo it's going to make it really spicy really hot and some people can handle it and some people can't you know i have very tough skin i can handle you know whatever's thrown at me and so you know, I'm just watching to see what happens next and just enjoying the ride, you know, whatever it brings. You know, a few bumps won't hurt me, you know, and I'm hoping to obviously learn and grow from it. Looking back on this first season, I don't regret anything that I do. I mean, I have to own it and, and move forward. So, you know, life is about, you know, just living it. And so I don't regret anything. This season, I'm most excited that I was able to have my baby on air because I didn't really remember the birth because I was on morphine and epidural, but when I was able to watch it on TV, I was able to see it and so that was, it was very exciting to me to see my baby born.